So I guess what's on everyone's mind is, what the hell is Nick doing in Cuba? What brought me to this island jewel of the Caribbean? Is it for the same reason why many middle-aged men and women come here? Is it fun in the sun, the beach, the music, the historical value? Yeah, my ass it is. When I get on the plane at Pearson, it's almost always full with middle-aged women and single retired men. My very own dad sacrificed his marriage over 20 years ago for this place. He's been coming down here four to six times a year since my mid-twenties. He now has a 29-year-old fiance, or so he thinks, that he's been seeing since she was 18. My dad is now 70. So why am I down here? Is it for the same reason he started coming? My name is Nikola Todorovsky, producer, studio owner, and a proud single father of one son. It's been many years since my last production. My desire to get back in the game is what brought me here. My advantage is all the connections and friends my dad made over the years. It took me a little over two years to build a post-production studio and recruit the team I would come to rely on. The first and most important of them is Luis, who's really known as Lucito, El Insuperable. I couldn't believe that we could produce a song and video from scratch and in the can in less than a week. Se cogió la jet, papi. Desde el cuartico azul. Nací en Velasco, pero me crié en Casales. Dos calles paralelas donde hasta las cucarachas valen. Barrio, una escuela, un aprendizaje. Una mecánica constante en un humilde paisaje. Y tú con en el invento para ver por dónde escapan. O tira para adelante o vives como una rata. Y una pile vento con guaperías alquilar. Ni lloran ni ríen, solo conocen la mata. Este es que hace y al final no hace nada. Este es que tiene y al final no tiene nada. Este es que dice que no habla y al final es un traidor. Lo cogen dándose la lengua con el jefe de ese more amazing than that was the cost of doing such a project. The production value here is practically free. This became obvious when we needed a unique location to shoot our second video at Hotel Pasa Caballo. The pool I'm in now and the bridge you see behind me was available to us at no cost and proved to be an invaluable asset to our production. <laughs> But the best part and most obvious is the fun you can have during our downtime. water sports, or the unique experience of swimming with dolphins, to the somewhat complex relationships you make with the opposite sex. Or you know what? You could simply buy a 40 ounce bottle of rum for six bucks, get smashed, and bake in the sun. Then at night, man, there's no shortage of clubs to go to for whatever purpose you have in mind. Drink, dance, or even picking up girls. Getting back on point though, there's a very deep well of talent here you can draw from. This entire island's economy is based on entertaining tourists. However, there's simply not enough work here to keep all the talented artists working. There are only so many restaurants and hotels one can work at. It is no coincidence that the girl dancer you see on the left happens to also be the sister of one of the lead singers of one of the popular groups we have done videos for. So now you know why I've been coming down here, especially since I realized that the Americans would soon drive up the cost of everything. And that would not have allowed me to be able to do what I've been doing. And I gotta tell you, 
I really enjoy working down here, and I hope you guys enjoyed our work as much as we did making it. Hasta la vista.